have to be honest and you have to say what you feel and how it's made an impact on you. It's, they're not our words, it's your emotions and your feelings. It's, it's how we treat the young people and how we treat each other in these academies that is going to make the success of these academies uh, historic. But there is a tipping point when young people actually stop and think, oh my God, this is my life. This is what I'm doing with my life. But each day and every day, for most young people, they have to endure people filling their bins. And as the bin fills, you start to believe the rubbish that people are putting into it. If ever there's a, the strongest tipping point in the work we do, it's when young people understand how the bin works. And then they understand that they've had at least 10, 12, 13 years of consistent bin filling. We're after the H factor. And that is, can you be a hero? Can you do something to make a difference in young people's lives? It's like to stand up here, Rosemary, at the Partner Academy. <laughs> they're here to share the story, more than anything, their story and how uh, the programme's affected them. I think my question is to all the heroes, what are you actually getting from this thing now, personally? They, they make you think about who you are. So that I, know, I, st I stopped and thought to myself, like, who am I, like, what am I going to get if I came around? But like, before they didn't come, I didn't really think of it that way. Before this, I wouldn't really like socialise with people. You see, we don't see you as a teacher, we see you as a person. Because I was extremely difficult to, to deal with in private school. They would actually put themselves in my shoes and talk to me on the level. How uh, did you know that your thing was full? If your bin's full, it feels like there's weight on your shoulders. There's no point. What's the point of continuing, mate? You're not going to go nowhere. And no one's there to support you. So I think that's basically how we feel. I would miss school because I didn't want to be bullied or go to PE because I, I would think that someone's looking at me and every time I heard someone laughing, I think it's me they're laughing at. Why change your, per your, your, like, you know, your perception of yourself just because to fit in what everybody else is thinking of you? Can you tell us how you think it's going to help you in the future? I've realised my dream, I know what my goal is, human utopias made me realise I can achieve those goals. I think it's absolutely true to say that we haven't looked back and we certainly couldn't have made the progress we've done in such an amazing way without their support so uh, it's been a fantastic partnership and thank you. These are tomorrow's doctors, tomorrow's nurses, tomorrow's lawyers, tomorrow's teachers, tomorrow's politicians, this is the future here. And uh, we owe it to them to try and give them hope. I've seen enough now to know that the potential is vast. Right.